playing Requested Towers 3. You know the drill by now, today I've chosen 4 towers that have been requested in previous Tower Creator Requested Towers videos, and those are going to compete in a bracket tournament to determine the winner of this video. Last video was the 2 video championship, this one will just be determining the winner of just this video, but the next video will be another 2 video championship, as well as the 3 video championship. If you have any towers of your own that you'd like me to play in a future Tower Creator Requested Towers video, then please comment the tower ID. Let's begin with our first tower, Tower of Agile Frenzy, by this person, with this ID, and from this comment. Play with max graphics for the full experience more particles. I think it would improve the experience to use canister mode and super duper ultra lobby LDM button that will make your game go 6,000 FPS. That way I get all the frames I can. All right, looking up, this looks very cool indeed. Let's find out where to go first. Okay, it's over here. Wow, I missed the second jump. That's a, not a good sign. <laughs> Look here, a speed pad. Wow. Oh, it's just like one jump though. World's shortest speed section. Oh, here's another one, like two jumps later. And outside already. Keep going backwards and jump off. Of what? Of that, I guess. Sure. Alright, more conveyors. That was not what I was supposed to do. Oh wait, this is a time speed section too. I didn't realize that before. Okay, well I guess it's a good thing I fell, because I would have run out of time anyway. So I may as well fail, but like, uh, not from the time running out? That way it's like less time wasted overall? Yeah, none of that made any sense. I missed the last jump, are you kidding me? There we go. That concludes the speed section. Now I go back inside, I guess. Well, mostly. Sort of going on the frame here, which is cool. And this is button activated, probably for a limited time. Yeah, hopefully I don't run out of time. Uh, where do I go? Here, I guess. Yeah, this will probably launch me, I guess, somewhere. Uh, we'll find out. Okay, you get to skip most of floor one now, by the way. Yay. That probably activated something so that when I inevitably fall, this is here. And I can get all the way back to this X bouncy thingy. And from there, it's just a few jumps back to here. Okay, another outside. That was way faster than I was expecting it. Okay, I'm expecting that now. Oh, it's like a very short amount of time. Okay, so I probably just need to jump to there. Yeah. And that's a one-way part too. Okay, how fast is this one? A little slower than that one was. Hopefully this thing beneath me is a safety net. It is. Okay, press that and land on here. That indicates I go over here. Yeah, alright, cool. I like the use of those X pusher bouncy looking things. Nah, uh. I agree. Maybe go to the giant arrow silly guy. This is also very fast. Uh, where? That? I guess over here. Okay. I'm gonna go across. Ah! That was way faster than I thought it was, even though I knew it was. But it was like really fast. Big, <laughs> big boy jump. Boing! Oh, that was gonna be like up 40 floors. Is this another big boy jump? <laughs> Yes, it is. Where do I go now? Is it back this way? Uh-oh. Hit the jump pad again. Okay. Oh, this takes me much higher now. The X pusher bouncy looking thing. Sure, we're, we're calling it that, apparently. More beak boy jumps. <laughs> or just one right there, apparently. Uh, floor three as well. It'll be really funny when I lose all my progress in about one minute. These universal guys disappear from existence just to come back. All right, I have 40 seconds to do something. Well, reach into this section, I suppose. But the fact that- <gasps> No! Okay, so this conveyor goes really fast. There we go. Now go over to here. I'm gonna hit the button and land here. And go over here. Big boy jump over here. Ooh. Nice. Okay, so what did that even do? I think maybe I wasn't supposed to go back this way. Well, I guess I can do that, maybe? Can I get back to the jump pad? No, I can't. Ugh, great. That was pretty quick to get back up here, actually. I think it activated something over here. Just hold jump, lol. Alright, that works. I also pressed A just to make sure I wouldn't, like, go that way a little bit and then not hit the truss. Alright, I think I jump here and another outside section. Well, I hit my head there, probably. Let me just get on the lowest part of here, hopefully to avoid it. There we go. Oh, no! Oh, that's fine. <laughs> that works. Well, I'm really liking the use of increased jump power and increased walk speed sections. You're putting a bunch of short ones of those instead of just, like, one long one out in, like, the whole tower. I think that's really cool. Oh, so just go straight to here then. That's way easier. All right, wrap around back inside. Increased walk speed. This thing's gonna disappear, but I gotta get to there. Nice. Find the button. What? Like find the real one or the one I'm actually? It's just the color probably. Or hit all of them. What? I think no. I think I had to press all of them. Okay. Well done. Boing. Uh, big boy jump to here. Uh, limited time. Okay, so jump here. No, what? The, literally the same thing just happened. It deactivates your jump power. My walk speed, jump, whatever it is. Jump power. There we go. Okay, I made it. 
finally, after replaying the whole tower other than button progress, not once, but twice. Speed and jump? No way, this is like crazy. Creo crazy. All right, well, I got 30 seconds to complete this section. Uh, over here. Well, there's a safety net, so I don't really need to be that stressed. About 18 seconds left. That's probably enough. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh-oh, that's... Uh, oh, boy. Okay, so I gotta hit the... that wall first. Okay. Press and backtrack. All right. Oh, it's not a timed button, so that means I don't have to do that again. Even if I fall. Uh, oh, wait, it add, Okay, I see what it did. It added, uh, like, an extra thing to that convey that goes really fast, so I can get over here. <laughs> Still a very cool tower, I like this a lot. Unfortunately, it's not loading right, so I can't like it. But whenever this weird glitch gets fixed, I'll be sure to go back and like these from this and the previous Requested Towers video that it wasn't letting me like because it's- the game still thinks it's loading, that's what it's doing. But here's the tower ID once again, and let's move on to the next one. Our next tower is Tower of Extremely Wacky Challenges. It was built by this person, it has this ID, and it was from this comment. Fittingly with the name, this has a wacky frame, so it's not just ten floors straight up. There's five here, and then the other five, like, to the side. That's pretty cool. Okay, some spinners to start off with. I gotta wrap around there, uh, and jump to there. Okay. More spinners. Let me try going in first person, and then just walking across at the right time. There we go. And, okay, I was hoping it wouldn't hit my head, which I didn't, so that's good. Okay, now this is a zip line. I got a safety net here, which is nice. Okay, so I guess perhaps the extremely wacky challenge of this floor, if that's how this works, like one per floor, would be spinners outside. Oh, the transition to that outside was kind of cool. Okay, walk around there. Oh, I could jump if I wanted to, though. And back inside. This time is over a safety net. Uh-oh, that- oh boy. Okay, well, I'm glad there's a safety net then, because I can just go back over here and try again. Okay, so go here, and- no, where do I jump? Okay, there. Got it. Okay, jump there. Finally. More spinners. Okay, I guess I should stop pointing out the spinners. You get the idea. Spinners. Okay, there's another outside coming up. It appears to have a safety net, though. But still, it's like you would think it's not, but it's how the frame is shaped. That's really cool. And up here, we got a staircase-shaped floor. Here, it goes three-dimensional in how it's not the full cube. Get the button. I see a button. Jump to it. Okay. It deactivated some stuff, so now I can jump to this spinner. The spinners are continuing, despite being on the next floor, so... Okay, I guess that's just sort of the theme of this tower, in a way, using a lot of spinners. Kind of like using a lot of high jump and high walk speed sections. You smell like farts. Okay, why am I lagging still? I thought I'm supposed to not lag, because I have all the low detail buttons on. I guess I can always try graphics. Helped a little bit, I guess. Not really. Okay, well, so much for that safety net. <laughs> okay, I was so meant to fall there. I just got lucky. Oh, wait, I guess I- okay. I think if I landed where I was, it wouldn't matter, like, where the spinner was. But still, that's not what I was supposed to do. Those things are Cancolide Falls. For future notice. Jump over this red platform. I kind of want to see what it does, but I will not. We'll just let it remain a mystery. Anyway, floor three. Very epic. The staircase floor. And- Oh, I accidentally hit it. Well, that's what the red teleporter thing does. It's a teleporter. Oh, I think I see what I did wrong. These things are can't collide false. Floor four? No, floor three. Wait, no. Yeah, huh? Yes, floor four. The green one is down here, but it's deloaded. Well, the way the shape of this floor is, I got a safety net for the rest of it. And the spinner theme will continue, but in a different way here. All right, now we're going into these other floors off to the side. Well, one of them anyway. I guess I go down here. All right. Jump to the orb on the other side of the spinner. It's an elevator. What do these do, though? I think those are just for decoration. Whoa. You do not stick to glue textured spinners, so be careful. Okay, so I gotta walk with the spinner. There we go. You can guess what you have to do. You must get the button or you cannot get to the next floor. I don't get what it means. Does that mean what I should be able to guess is that I can get the button? Or what I should be able to guess is this, which is, of course, gonna be jumping to the thingies where the numbers are. In a way, it means both, I guess, because I needed to do that to get to the button to... Hope you got the button. Okay, so I can do that to press the teleporter. Alright. Man, this floor is crazy. Oh, I don't stick to that. Right, it said that on the previous floor. So I gotta walk with this thing until I get to here. But I do stick to that one. I need to pay more attention. This one I will stick to. Just avoid the other spinners that are gonna try to knock me off of here. Jump. Alright. You need good timing. I wasn't even looking. But I had good timing anyway, let's go! This glue textured wall is a beehive wall. Jump on the wall and you will stick to it slowly moving downwards. What? Oh, it's like an elevator. 
Great. Okay, but I was supposed to go to the other side of here and then to there. So let me try to land here at the peak of my jump. Uh, I couldn't really tell if I was about to fall or not. Whatever. Okay, now I gotta jump to here. What's the best way to do this? I'm gonna try first person like the... Okay, I can save it. All right, actually, we're gonna try third person like that. That didn't work either. Try wall hopping. I'm gonna try wall hopping. Nope, I can't really wall hop because it does that with the conveyor. There we go. Get on the elevator at the correct time. You'll see what I mean. Hmm. Really good skills jumping to a thing. Oh, I think this teleports me here, and then I gotta make sure I time that right. So it'll probably jump right about now. No. Like, okay, so it'll go pretty fast. So probably right here. There we go. All right. Okay, so you're, like, using teleporters and elevators together. I really like that. Get to the neon platform. Uh, okay, go on the other side of these. Or, no, wrap around them. Uh. Back inside. Jump to the teleporter. This one probably finishes. No, it doesn't. So I'm just getting teleported all around the floor and even outside the floor. All right, next floor. <gasps> okay, well it seems to be doing that every time. I think I'm hitting this thing and then it's like making me fall down. So I gotta hit right on the edge, but then not run into that. And after failing that about 15 times in a row, I think I'm just gonna give up. Yeah, I, I don't know why it's doing that. Why didn't that happen before? Nonetheless, a very cool tower that it's not gonna let me like. And here's the tower ID again. Before we move on, the winner between Tower of Agile Frenzy and Tower of Extremely Wacky Challenges is Tower of Extremely Wacky Challenges. I really liked both of them, but I feel like Tower of Extremely Wacky Challenges had a more interesting variety of different gameplay. The next tower is Tower of Timorous Coherence, by this person with this ID and from this comment, where they say it's a tower mostly based on gameplay, which got a 21.5 out of 30. Looking at the tower from a distance, I really like the color scheme so far, and I sort of like this custom tower portal. You use, like, not the normal colors for these things, and also you made the sign be like trapezoidal sequel to tower of reluctant incoherence so yeah i guess i see what they mean by mostly gameplay based there's no safety nets the whole time so it definitely looks like one mistake could end up costing all my progress glue parts are corner flips i missed the f key oh wait i'm not what there we go i don't think i did never mind trust grab to get under what difficulty was this again remorseless okay i don't know how far i'm gonna be able to okay so i guess i just gotta get right into the position I want to be, and then probably jump before pressing W. This is a vine. Okay, that one worked a little bit better than the one from Tower of Mountain House from Requested Towers 2. Do I jump all the way to there? Surely not. Guess I'm jumping to there. Oh, it is possible. Okay. Okay, I see a button there. Let me try going to the edge of here, and then like rotating around. Let's see. What do I want to do? Okay, maybe not. Should I just... Okay, wait, no, it's a five second timer. Okay. I don't want to have to press that again. Okay. So I can't just press it and then fall and then just get back to here. There's a truss right there. So I'm probably going to want to wrap around and land to there. Like, do that. Oh boy, this looks like it's going to be a scary truss jump. Let's see. Let me try going to... I don't like this. Ben. Wife Bailey. Well, I highly doubt I'm going to be able to make it very far. I tried to load this in a private server, but then it was doing that thing where it, like, gets stuck loading. Not like it is here, where it at least loads in the whole tower, but the game thinks it's still loading. No, it, just, it like, breaks and doesn't load it at all. So, looks like I have to play it without no clip in a public server. Which means uh, I, I'm probably getting to floor 3 at most, if even past this jump. Oh, I made it. Okay, there's a good chance it's gonna be the only time I manage to make it, so I better not fall again. Uh, probably a better idea to just... Wrap around- oh, oh my gosh. Can't you at least put like a floor select? Okay, maybe that jump's not as difficult as I thought it was. Because I've made it again, which is good. This jump though... <laughs> there we go, okay, made it. Now we'll jump to there, and to there, and floor two. Nice. Okay, now go around that truss. Ladder flick to here. I should probably commentate as much as possible because I'm not going to make it very far in this tower. So I, I should definitely get as much, like, edited contentness from it <laughs> as I can. So, yeah. Yeah, th th there's no way I'm going to be able to <laughs> do this. But if I were to assume what the rest of the tower is like, it's probably pretty similar to this. I will say I do really like the detail a lot, the use of a lot of wedges and just a lot of parts. And there's no safety nets, but that does make it look really cool to look up the whole tower, because you can just see all the parkour like that 
you know, here's the tower ID once again, and let's move on to the last one of today's video. Our final tower of this video is Tower of Abstractum Maximum, by this person with this ID and from this comment. They say it's bottom low extreme, with three floors finished, themed around abstract art. I'm in a private server, because if I couldn't do Remorseless, I certainly couldn't do Extreme. Luckily, this one, it actually let me load right. Let's see. Wall hopping required, stress flying required, dance clipping required, wedge climbing required, over to go mobility, no boost, no impossible, definitely not for mobile. Well, here we go. Immediately, I notice, like, the frame is all the same color. Well, maybe it's slightly different colors. It is different parts, so, I don't know. Let me sound smart by analyzing this artistically. Hmm, well, the fact that the frame is all white sort of directs your attention to the different platforms and the different colors and different shapes, which I'm noticing with the different, like, I don't know what they're called in Tower Creator. Like the mesh parts, like the cones. Walk against the wall. There we go. On this cube, I really like this a lot. It's like just different random shapes and design. Here, there's a lot of simple shapes, actually, but like right here, there's just like a bunch of parts on it, except they add just detail. It looks like they can collide false also, but it wouldn't really make a difference. By the way, granite trusses fade. How fast? Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Okay, so I go inside this. Is this like a descending tower sort of thing? Hold jump on the spinner. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it is sort of a descending mini tower sort of thing. So that thing's a trip part, which doesn't immediately make me fail, but I do have to jump to go out of the trip animation, but then I'll hit this teleporter. Even that this conveyors can collide true, it's probably gonna make me, like, walk up into the teleporter. So I just need to walk along here and just try not to get moved at all vertically. All right, here I can touch the ceiling, but I got another teleporter. Okay, so this is like the bottom. You can see the floor here, like, of the tower, I mean. This thing's gonna be a wall hop, so there we go. But I can't jump, so this guy gotta walk around. There. Button. What did that do? Did it activate something outside and now I gotta go back? I don't think so, because I don't think there's any way to go back up there. Wait, yes, there is. The teleporter. Aha. That was some real inside-the-box thinking that you built into the gameplay. I really like that. Get it inside the box, because you're inside a box. Wait, what do I even do? Oh, wait, does this do something? Yes, that's a button. It activated this, which is a teleporter to here. Now I can go on top of the- Now if I notice that that's a conveyor, then I can go on top of here. And this- is that gonna launch me somewhere? In a way. It's a teleporter. So, floor two, uh, it looks like I'm on. Can't really tell, because all the frames all the same color. Go to floor three, question mark? I press the button. I, I don't know what it did, though. Wait, what? Wait, was that just, like, temporary? Because that skipped a bunch of stuff, I think. Oh wait, also, you're marking when you get to the next floor with a Roman numeral number. Okay, I didn't notice that earlier because it just looks like detail on the part. Well, I'm gonna reset so that it, like, unpresses the button so that I can play this as it is here. Like, I, I do think that maybe is temporary. What do I do here, though? Is this Cancolite false? No. Maybe I'm supposed to wall hop. That worked, so, okay, I guess that was what I was supposed to do. Because I don't see anything else obvious that I was supposed to do. I don't think I can go that way, but then from here, I don't see anything to do. This is a conveyor, but it's very slow, so it wouldn't launch me anywhere. Let's just use no clip to get to here. I pressed a button, which activated stuff. Go to the right side of the truss. I'm confused. Okay, how am I supposed to do that? Uh, maybe go on the side. Okay, that's actually not that bad. You just have to go on that side of the truss. What? <laughs> Oh wait, is it- is this a lodge? Whoa! I didn't know this was a thing. That's really cool. This conveyor is just the Cancolide Falls conveyor with the arrows helping indicate where to go. How to get there though, I don't know. Oh wait, I probably have to get like launched up there from here. I think I gotta jump sort of near the back of that. There we go, alright. How would you even do this? Oh, like that. The teleporter here will send you to a survival challenge. Oh boy. Oh, this isn't so bad. Except that I'm about to die. Easy enough solution, just go into no clip. Alright, here I got a wall hop. Oh, I actually did that first try. Let's go. Okay, so here I probably need to ledge grab, but all those kill breaks are gonna make me take a lot of damage. I probably need to go in, like, the corner. Or, would this work? Yeah, if I get, like, to the left edge of it. Right, right about there, and don't die. Okay. Alright, well, I think that's a good place to stop. Uh, dying. <laughs> I didn't really make a comment on this earlier, but you can see there's, like, abstract art on the frame here. I think that's pretty cool. Still can't like this. Couldn't the one before this. Cause it still thinks it's wrong. Here's the tower ID once again. And now for the winners from Requested Towers 3. The winner between Tower of Timorous Coherence and Tower of Abstracta Maximum is Tower of Abstracta Maximum. The theming is why I chose this one. I really like the theme of Tower of Abstracta Maximum and Tower of Timorous Coherence didn't really have a theme at all. So that means we have Tower of Extremely Wacky Challenges versus Tower of Abstracta Maximum. For the finals of Requested Towers 3, the winner is... 
Tower of Extremely Wacky Challenges. This was a close one, and both towers had things I really liked about them, but I decided to go with Tower of Extremely Wacky Challenges since it had a cool mix of design as well as gameplay. Which I mean, Tower of Abstracta Maximum also had, but I feel like it was sort of less so than was the case in Tower of Extremely Wacky Challenges. This means Tower of Extremely Wacky Challenges will compete next video for the two video championship, and if it wins that, then it will compete against Tower of Semi-Classic Cave Systems from Requested Towers 2 for the three video championship. Should it win that, it will be a contestant for the grand prize of the four video championship. So is Tower of Extremely Wacky Challenges enough to win the grand prize? Stay tuned for Requested Towers to find out. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. In a few days, on Saturday, March 30th, I will be premiering the 3,000 subscriber Q&A as well. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.